I guess regenerative agriculture is a, is a lot of, it's like five real factors. Uh, one is keep roots green and growing for 280, at least 280 days of the year. Um, the other one is diversity, below ground diversity and above ground diversity. So um, let's start with those two. So on our farm, we, um, we don't plow and we don't cultivate. Uh, we very rarely even harrow. Uh, because we want the microbes to be intact and we want the mycorrhizal fungi to be um, to be growing freely and as soon as you cultivate or you um, or you harrow like harrow to a lesser degree but when you cultivate you're just ruining the homes of all the microbes and then so on our pasture land we are um, in areas that are sparse, like on the hillsides, we're broadcast seeding uh, a lot of it before we put the livestock in, and then when the livestock come in, they're trampling it into the ground. So we haven't seen a lot of the results from that yet, um, but hopefully next year we'll start to see more of that. Um, on this field behind us, we um, we hay it as well, so the cattle have just and the sheep have just gone back to it. We took the first crop; it was really good, but the second crop was slow, and of course we're not going to plow it and disc it because that's against the principles of <laughs> regenerative agriculture. So what our goal is this fall is we're going to graze it very very closely and then we're going to broadcast seed it and then we're going to just do a light harrow to try and get the seed worked into the ground a little bit and that'll be in the late fall. So it's not going to hurt the plants that are here as much because we've got a lot of um, we've got a lot of cooch grass and we've got we've got some clover but we want want to get more legumes into the mix. So we're going to broadcast seed alfalfa and probably some orchard grass and on see how the hillsides goes. in the summer where our livestock are, we put them into small places, into small areas, very small areas with electric fence and then we graze them in like the sheep and the cattle together whenever we can and then we move them very quickly and then that area that we've grazed gets a rest probably for at least two months depending on what area it is and how much moisture it has in that. And by doing that, it allows the roots of the plants, uh, when it's grazed, it actually, um, the animal's saliva inoculates the soil for the um, microbials and then and then by grazing, by the action of grazing, it tears the soil so there's larger surface area than if you just cut it with, say, a mower. There's a so the roots actually go out more and build more organic matter to bring back to heal that wound that the, the, the animals made. And that's part of the the importance of incorporating livestock into a regenerative agriculture system is that that wound development on the leaf and then as you can't take it too close of course you always want to take like 50 percent but no more um, and then you move on so you want to go you just want to get in there graze an area and then move on before the cow has done the second graze because if the cow comes back or the sheep comes back and does a second graze now you're actually going to, the, the plant is going to start sloughing roots because it's going to get weak and it's going to slough roots. So what we want to do is we want to grow roots. And how we grow roots is just a short graze, like a once over graze and then leave it to rest. And that's what generates the roots in the soil and that's what generates the organic matter that we're looking for.